Yeah. Good. In a space used to hosting competitions. We will see you in a month for your second appointment, okay? Everyone inside the gym at Clear Creek High School Thursday had the same opponent. It's been very concerning. It's been hard. Teachers and... like Sophie Egan braved the pandemic to keep students in class. Just talking to her kindergartners about why they have to wear masks is a challenge. I'm wearing this mask because I love you. You're wearing the mask because you love me, and that's why we're wearing the mask. The vast majority of students in Clear Creek County now go to school in person. So far, the district has avoided major outbreaks this semester. These teachers are here in here day in and day out. Uh, they have the probably the highest level of uh, exposure of anyone out in our community. Tim Ryan is the health director in Clear Creek County. His office gets 100 doses of the COVID vaccine every two weeks. With the number of people eligible for the vaccine expanding, it's become a challenge to decide how they'll use the very limited supply. As of now, we haven't received any additional vaccines uh, earmarked for teachers. Uh, so the, the vaccine allotment we get each week, we're, we're taking a portion of that and putting them towards teachers. Thursday, they were able to vaccinate about 70 teachers, half of the teachers in the county. That's about 70% of Clear Creek County's entire vaccine allotment for two weeks. Nearly everyone above the age of 70 has now been vaccinated in the county, around 1,000 people. That puts teachers next in line. It was just a huge relief. I felt like doing the happy dance because um, I just knew that I was going to be able to keep my family safe. In a gym at a school in the middle of the mountains, teachers are on their way towards beating the pandemic. In Clear Creek County, I'm Mark Salinger, 9 News.